I am just an ordinary Australian, doing ordinary things. With a wonderful husband and soulmate called Hamish, who makes my life worth living. Senior Australian of the Year is Jeree Gordon. In the beginning, receiving such an award was a very painful yet humbling experience, as I could only ask, why me? The award was for lifelong dedication to animals and caring about disabled and disadvantaged people in the community who wanted to be needed and accepted. As a young child, I was very lonely and often animals were my only companions. I learnt to communicate with them and I could often feel their pain. They, with a cuddle or a nuzzle, or in some way would diminish the pain my father's beatings and rejection caused me. My father was a drifter and I went to 29 schools before I was 14, living in a car, tents, a shearing shed and occasionally a house. I was always the butt of his anxiety. I left home with little self-esteem emotional beating scar very deeply. I wonder what value I was to the world. However, my mother, my aunt of 101 years, and grandfather were such caring people with enormous faith. Through them, life became positive, full of love, and as I grew, so did my faith. Some of the happiest memories were playing with Aboriginal friends and a kid who couldn't speak English, but he was a great cricketer. Throughout my childhood, I was saddened when I saw people shunned, ridiculed or hurt because they were different. I asked why at school and church and even wrote to the Prime Minister, but no one had an answer except God, but he took his time. As years passed, I was always involved with animal welfare, wild and domestic. When I accepted a position of the first woman Shire Ranger in Australia, I did it on condition the Helping Hands service was developed to help people in need look after their pets. This later expanded to wildlife as well. I set up Juralinga Koala and Wildlife Sanctuary 30 years ago in Barwon Heads. It is the largest privately owned wildlife rescue centre in Victoria and in my job I rescue more than just animals. What is one of the most important roles of the sanctuary is to provide an environment, a haven for people to work and learn. We have had over 200 people work with us at the sanctuary. They come from all walks of life, aged, disadvantaged and people with disabilities. The change in people when they become involved with animals is just incredible. 18 young people who have been sexually assaulted and tried to commit suicide have lived with Hamish and I and through helping the animals they have learnt to trust again. As part of our services we look after pets of those who can no longer take care of them and we take animals on visits to those who are bedridden. It is amazing to see the transformation in everyone. Laughter and tears of happiness are shared by all. I am continually being shown ways to share the love of my country, animals and marry them together with people who need to be needed and find a purpose in life. Juralinga is a place where these transformations can take place. I'll be up. Don't you worry. That's a promise? Mm. A promise. Good. Yeah. Okay. Mm.